Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1 and it reads, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. We have been given the authority from Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus, God and Jesus, to tell our people where they're going off at. According to the Bible, and we know you don't like it. We know we know the average so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American and don't want we don't want nobody to tell them that they 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 going off that they screwing up, that they're not they're not not doing the right thing. But this is our job. The Lord Lord says, spare not. We're supposed to cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare, spare nobody feelings when it comes to bringing out this word. Give it to him straight. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud playing instrument. So you see us out there on the highways and byways week in and week out. You're wondering what we're doing. You're wondering why we're reading so loud. Because the scriptures tell us to lift up our voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud playing instrument. Judgment is going forth. Judgment. This is the warning. The Lord's got us warning you. It's, it's consequences for every action. There's a reaction, right? And show my people. The word my is possessive. It's not talking about everybody. Every, every nation up under the sun was a given the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. And show my people their transgressions. The breaking of the laws, right? And the house of Jacob. Lord got real specific of who he's talking to. No, no confusion. He's not the author of confusion. He said, show the house of Jacob their sins. Let's get what sin is right quick. Because once we get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scripture, if the Lord puts his spirit on you to go teach, then you go teach. You, you don't spare nobody, fellas. So what? They get mad if you tell them they can't eat pork according to the Bible. They can't mess around with the next man's woman. A woman can't mess around with another man if she's married already. Has a husband. You can't get lineups, shape-ups. So what if they get mad? You see, you can't celebrate Christmas, your birthday, Easter, and all this other pagan nonsense. Look, let them know where they going off at according to the Bible. Let's get this. Bear with me. Basically, back to the basics. Basically, basically another lesson back to the basics. Because you got as Israelites, you know what I'm saying, being quickened each and every day, being awoken to the nationality of who they are each and every day. So we always got to revert back to scriptures like this, lessons like this, right? Going revert right back to the milk. Let's get this. All hell break loose. You Israelites better get it together. All of us. It's, it's going down now. Once again, your next move could be your last. The Lord is not playing. Do you not see judgment going forth on everything known to mankind? Here, uh, America, uh, the earth is on fire. Only thing you got to do, Google how many fires are being are happening pretty much right now. It, it's, it's outrageous. And I got 777 on the screen. First John chapter 3, because remember it says, show Israel their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So we're going to prove what sin is according to the Bible. Just something quick. I'm about to head out. Get this daily bread. Look, one day closer. We one day closer, Israel. First John chapter 3. You see, too late is going to knock on your door because there's a such thing as too late. First John, you hear the men out there on the highways and byways crying aloud, sparing not. You hear them out there screaming to the top of their lungs, telling you to repent, telling you when you're going off it and you don't want to listen. It's going to be on you. First John chapter three, verse four, whosoever and then whosoever is the Israelites, whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. 
because the law was given to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making, and we're gonna prove that right quick. Just, just go in and just prove it. You know, just prove it. Leviticus twenty-five. And we're gonna come right back. The law wasn't given to every nation up under the heavens, right? Leviticus 25. And let's see, I ain't read it in a couple of days. Let's see. 50. 55. Right? No, that ain't it. Um, Leviticus 26. Leviticus 26, ain't nothing rehearsed. Leviticus 26 and 46, right? Yep. Leviticus, the water you have, watch me out. Shout Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46, and it reads These are the statutes and judgments and laws. Remember, whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law, will prove who was given the laws. Look, look, according to the Bible, and the Lord said, I change if not. Malachi 3 and 6, Leviticus 26 and 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. So, so when that whosoever transgresses the law, that whosoever is, is pertaining to you Israelites, us. He made the laws between the children of Israel and Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. So, so, so there you go. There you go. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For the law was given to the Israelites. And I, I want to get this. Because the majority of our people are not going to repent. So these lessons that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. We got to be very clear about that too. Right, right about now, the Lord don't love the majority of his people, two-thirds of his people. The scriptures goes into that. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. Just get this. For the Israelites that don't want to turn back, get, just get ready. Second Chronicles 15, 13. That whosoever, once again, that whosoever is talking about you Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. Don't get it twisted. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel. Talking to you Israelites. The power of Israel, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus. The power of Israel, look, look, the power of Israel. Let, let you know, it's talking that whosoever, this scripture right here is letting you know who that whosoever is. It's talking about you Israelites. Should be put to death. Should be put to death. Straight up deletion. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, whether you're known in society, you got a, a big name. Whether you're a bum on the street, whether you're a man, or whether you're a woman. And remember, the Lord told us to cry aloud, spare not. Remember, we haven't been given the authority. The Lord made us prophets. The Lord put his word in our mouth. The Lord gave, gave us the authority to go to the highways and byways. I want to get this. Micah chapter 3. We didn't choose this Israel. Y'all look at us all crazy. What do you, what do you, who, made, who made you a judge? Who made you a judge? The Lord, man. The Lord, you, you can't use that excuse, only God can judge me now. No, no, it's a book in the Bible called Judges. And the Lord said, look, um, a spiritual man judge of all things. Micah chapter 3 verse 8, but truly I am full of the power by the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and of judgment. So we have been given the authority a.k.a. the power by Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, to judge our people with the word, judge righteously with the word and of might to declare unto Jacob a people before us a place of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, his transgression. We have been given the authority to tell our people where they're going off at. And and to Israel his sins, his sin, and we just prove what sin is. Sin is a transgression of the law. I want I want to get this too. The the Lord is not gonna keep messing around with you, Israelites, man. Romans chapter six, he gonna he gonna make a move on you. Romans
Luke chapter 6, verse um, 23. Like I said before, just some quick back to the basics. Romans chapter, because you got Israelites being quickened each and every day. Israelite men, women, and children being quickened each and every day. We need to bring out lessons like this. We're written right back to the middle. If you Israelites that don't turn back from your wickedness and seek the God of the Bible, you're going to be deleted. You're going to be deleted, Israel. This message is deadly serious. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And look, everything that I say, I'm backing it up with a scripture, right? And then they get ready to bring back that down juice again. They're going, to, they're going to come down with some lockdowns. See, when, when the party's going, ain't nobody thinking about the Lord, but the Lord's about to shut down the whole damn party. You, you got Israelites voting again. It's just straight up madness. Madness. The, Isaiah, the first chapter, verse 3 says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. They don't even consider this. Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, so called. They don't even consider the majority of them. They don't even consider that they're the Hebrew Israelites. And if they do consider that they're the Hebrew Israelites, they still ain't taking heed. They said they're not going to walk down the old path. They said they're not going to follow the ways of righteousness. So you deserve everything you get. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin. We showed you what sin is according to the Bible. It's the breaking of the laws, breaking of the commandments of the Bible, which are still in full effect. You see? Now, just because we're up under this grace period, does that mean that we can just do away with the law? Yeah, how will forbid? We establish the law. We also establish the law of faith, too. And yeah, how was shy? But the Lord's gonna judge our people, man, according to this word. I, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta go to Ezekiel after this, Lord's will. Just something quick too. For the wages of sin is death. Not taking heed to this word, it eventually leads to you being deleted in a horrible way, in a horrible way. But the gift of Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is eternal life. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So we can't just go to the Heavenly Father. We got to go to the mediator. We got to go to his son. Our lawyer. Lord Yahweh Shai. That's how we gain access to eternal life. And our people don't even want eternal life. It's, it's, it's mind boggling, but we know it's all according to the scripture. It's all according to the movie. Our people are actually passing away the opportunity to gain access to eternal life on the first go around. They, they don't want it. They're, they're not, they're not going to fight for eternal life. Let's just get this right quick. Root four. Eternal, a chance to eternal life on the first go around is right in front of our people's face and they're just smacking it down. Baruch chapter four, verse one. This is the book of the commandments. Of the Most High, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which we read who this commandments of the Bible was given to the Israelites, and the law that endured forever. So the law of the Bible, just stop it. Just stop it. So st just stop saying the laws of the Bible are done away. Just stop it, man. You should just say that stupid nonsense so you can eat whatever you want, so you can mess around with the next man's woman, so you can smoke your drugs, so you can continue to be a crook and a criminal. So you can, so you can uh, worship these idols, these pagan gods. Just stop it. This is the book, meaning the Bible, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead, not none of them Kemet books. Which ain't them Kemet books. Them, come on, man. Them Kemites, them, them ancient Egyptians, won't nothing but pedos, man. You see? Won't nothing but sodomites. Weird-ass gods, man. Neb, Geb. Horse, Amen Ra, all this nonsense. You see? Look, more teens to be tried as adults on a new law. A new law just passed here in North Carolina. These teens are being charged as adults now. You you look, look that's that's judgment. That's called judgment. As I'm reading the judgments of the Lord, you got a new law being passed here in, here in North Carolina. These teens are being treated as adults. They're being treated and tried as adults now under the new law. You don't know what the hell is going on. But up under the, the old law, 
the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. Meaning the words of the Bible, the laws of the Bible, rehearse them to the best of our ability. We got to at least rehearse it. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. I, I know you hear this. The Israelites that don't take heat, man, this, this, this is going to get so bad for you out here. I got two more that I'm gone. We're living in Palestine. See, everybody's telling you that it's all peaceful. It's, a, it's all gravy. You can just do whatever you want to. Don't, don't worry about nothing. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you take that narrative and see what happens to you. Just take that don't worry, be happy narrative and see what see where it leads you, right? Let's get this. Ezekiel 18.30. I got one more after this and then I got to roll. Saturday, got to go into work. It's almost over though, Israel. And for brothers that ain't never really been nowhere, never traveled, you know what I'm saying? Having a hard time with women. Everything's about to be all fine and dandy. The kingdom is about to be established. Now, now look, a, a new C, C dub. Y'all know what I'm talking about. A new C dub concerns ahead of fall season. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. The Israelites that don't turn back to the God of the Bible, you're going to get caught up in this madness. You, you're going to get caught. All, all of a sudden, all the DOCs are coming out of the cut now. All of a sudden, so, so, oh yeah, it's back, it's back, it's back. Seek the Lord, Israel. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, because the word was given unto you. Everyone according to his ways. Everyone's going to get a judgment, a reward for how they've been conducting themselves. Keep thinking everything's a joke. Said the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, shy, repent, meaning turn back sorrowful, regretful, remorseful for all our wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings, right? You, you walk around proud, you want to, against the God of the Bible. You see, and the scriptures say pride, you know what I'm saying, was not made for man. And then pride is the beginning of one turning from his maker, and pride is hateful before the Most High and man. You can't save yourself, you can't deliver yourself, you can't help yourself. But the entity that can do all that, you like, nah, I'm good. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. We read what transgressing was. The breaking of the laws. So iniquity, wickedness, sin upon sin shall not be your ruin. Why? Because the wages of sin is death, man. It's coming. Don't worry about it. It's coming. Don't, don't worry about it. It's coming. A whole lot of deletion is happening now. We're living in some deadly serious times now. This, this is my last one. I wish I could make it longer, but I got, I got the roll. Go to this damn job. And all these jobs are, ain't going to um, lead to nothing anyway. And all these dead-end jobs. It's almost over. It's all, this is all part of our punishment anyway. Going to work, waking up early in the morning, going to work for scraps. We're just here to get our daily bread anyway. We're not here to be millionaires and trillionaires. I mean, if you got some money there, uh, look, kudos. Better be doing something spiritual with that money. You're sitting on, on 20 million and you ain't gave a brother or you ain't brought a brother a meal or nothing like that. Don't be don't be like the bishop sitting on 150 million dollars. You ain't have nobody out. Don't be like the bishop now. Damn near, damn near a billion now. And ain't have nobody out. Only thing you can say is the bums, the bums, the bums, the bums. When the scriptures say you see your brother in need, help him out. But we already know. We already know. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tearing. One, in one ear, you call us bums. And then in the next, next um, you, you got $150 million. And, and, and some extra. And you ain't have no damn body out. But it's all good though. The Lord helping us out. We good. We good. The Lord got us. We good. We're getting our daily bread. Scriptures command us, strive not to be rich. You fall into many diverse and hurt for lust, man. You, you're constantly being tempted. I mean, we're constantly being tempted, but when you're up in that bracket like that, you're constantly being tempted.
Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. The Lord, the word tarry means to wait. Don't wait. And put not off from day to day. Don't put off seeking the Lord. I get to it tomorrow. I get to it tomorrow. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And all that, all that Donald Trump getting locked up and all that BS. Israel, I know y'all not falling for that nonsense. It's a damn soap opera, man. Ain't none of it real. What part of that don't you understand? It ain't none of it real. A bunch of damn Hollywood actors, man. Sleep, sleepy Fire Marshal Bill Joe. All of them ain't nothing but a bunch of damn actors, man. Wake up, man. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall come forth and end thy security. When it's all levy devil, when you're in this comfortable, you got all that damn money, living your best life in your security, peace and safety. That should be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So I just wanted to bring out some people talking about we can't judge. Who, who are we to judge? You can't tell us what to do. Only God can judge me. Well, I just proved according to the scriptures we have been given the authority from the heavens. The power to declare unto Jacob his sins and the house of Jacob their transgressions. So don't get mad at us. Take that up with the Lord. Because we didn't choose these positions anyway. Take that up with the Lord. The Lord said, look, if you don't go out there and warn them, look, look I'm going to take it out on you. So we go out there and warn them. The Lord said, you're Israelite men that got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture, and you know who you are. You got to keep coming to the comment board telling some. Um, uh, how, how do you know if the Lord, you know what I'm saying, wants you to go teach? You know. If you got to ask that question, you know already. Just like Jonah knew. Just like all the men of the Lord knew. You can't make no excuses. Uh, I don't speak that good. I don't read that good. I'm not an elegant speaker. You can't use excuses anymore. Cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Shalom.